Listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. hey, hey, listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. What's going on guys? Thanks for going fishing with me. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me guys. I appreciate you 100. Remember to smash that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. Okay guys, we're down here at the Everything Locking Dam. And I am walking to the wall. Going up this little path where uh, they keep the grass cut to one of the drainage ditches. The one that's closest to the to the closest gate uh, to us. They've got one gate running. It's not full blast, but it's running. And I am going to do something totally different today. I'm going to throw some lures out here and uh, see if I can catch anything. Now I've never thrown lures out here. I have always tried to catfish, you know, and catch, and I, can I catch catfish, drum, you know, stuff like that. But we're going to do something different to see what we can come up with. Now, I'm going to show you the, the gates. That's the gate right there that's running. We're not throwing into the gate. We're going to be throwing right beside it at the wall. When we get down here, hopefully, we can do something. Um, there are actually some birds down there. You guys can't see them, but they're sitting right around the water in that, that middle eddy. So there's got to be some shad in there. And there's some guys fishing. And one guy told me that he uh he didn't catch anything, but a guy that was down there uh in the corner next to him caught something. That he caught a channel in the blue. So well guys, let's get down this hill and see what's going on. All right, this is Arctic Cropper crankbait with the red on it. it. It sinks. Let's get this. Let's get it. It goes at least three feet. Let's try it. I know it's going to sink under the water. It dives. It's going to have to dive if we're going to get anything. Let's get this joker tied on. Keep on getting it. Now I've used this lure in ponds and I've caught some in, and in lakes, in Sullivan Lake, and uh, I've caught fish with it. Uh, whether we get anything over here today, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it. I hope we do. Oh, it's not sinking, guys. Fouled up. Fouled up. I guess it just goes to show that every lure is not gonna work in swift water.
Oh, got something, guys. What? Man, we fire hooked a large mouth bass. He hit it. He hit it. Look at that, guys. Well, we did catch something, huh? Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me, guys. Remember to smash that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. He hit at it. Ouch. Dang, these hooks are so good. Only small bait. Man, this fish's skin is tough. That's a little bitty small largemouth bass, but we caught something to start off the show with. <laughs> fish first, first fish of the day. All right, fellas. This is an actual shad color, again. Maybe it'll score something for us, guys. There's some dead fish over here that they're cutting up. Whoop. Not cool. He hit it and hit the bait off. He wonder if he threw it over the wall with a lure if they hit it, because the water's gonna be moving. Probably will. I actually threw a goldfish over there in the second gate one time and I caught a five pound large mouth bass. On my surf rod, one of my surf rods. Can't let these uh I should probably crank baits. Can't let these crank baits sink too deep. They get hung. Got him, guy. I don't know what that is. I'm trying not to lose it. Oh! There it is, guys. First fish of the day, second species. White bass. And now I crop the crank bait. Okay, so the shed was the right color. I'm talking about. See, you can fish your dams. You catch stuff. Other than catfish all the time. Okay, he's hooked good. Hold on. It's hard to get this hook out of this fish's mouth. He's looking really good. It's going to be all right, though. Okay. Now, these fish will cut you guys. I know you hear me saying that a lot, and they will. They will cut you. Come on, fella. Give me a second. Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Look at there. Nice little white bass, and he's spawning. He's got a uh, got that milk coming out of him. All over my hands. He's spawning. Let's get him back in the water. That was a rock. All right, man. Nice white bass. All right. And you see, that's on that, uh, and I said I had never caught a white bass on it, I hadn't, that's my first time. That's on that silver Arctic crappie crankbait. Okay, we got two fish, we got, we got a, a white bass, and we got a large mouth, both on Arctic crappie crankbait. One was on the green and red one. And this one was on the black 
and silver one that looks like a shaft. He nailed it. Okay, guys, I didn't catch this, but you guys have got to see what is really out here at the locking dam. Now, these locking dams breed monsters. Now, you've heard me say it before if you're not new to my channel. You finna see a, a river monster now, Jack. Check this out, guys. Woo! I believe that's a little more than 50, big dog. <laughs> man, what's your name, man? Daniel. Daniel? Going. Man, you caught a mean one, man. Woo. Guys, look at that. Look at this. This is just, you have my touch it? That's just incredible. Look at this. This is how big the fish are here. There he is. Look at that. Will you hold him up one more time? Yeah. I want to get you on here with him where they can see him real good. I'm going to put him on my show. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is just incredible. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, big dog. Yeah. Let's get you a size estimate on it. Yeah, look at that, guys. Now, you can see really what's up. That's a real, real Dr. Pepper can. It's about a 60 pound, I believe. I believe it's more than 50. Yeah, that's awesome. Way to go, dog. <laughs> now that's how you do that. <laughs> okay, the next thing I need to adjust, I think I need to adjust my drag a little bit. That white bass is pretty hard to land. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. We should be able to cast a little better this time. Yeah. a lot better. This is a whole different uh, game for me. I've, I've never done this. It's my first time my shooting this episode that I've done this, and I love it. Now, I fished in Flaunt. Oh, he hit it. He let it go. He got off. He hit it. So I think I got the right bait on He hit it, man. He nailed it. I don't know what that was. Okay, he nailed it, guys. He nailed it. I don't know what it was, but he nailed it. Um, In Florence, Alabama, it was different. Uh, the water's not exactly like this. Something nailed it. I'm gonna try not to lose this, this lure and get something nice. I don't know what that was. I think we picked the right, right bait this time. Yeah, he nailed it. I don't know what it was. We're just gonna have to keep fishing to see if we can get one of these big whatever it is. We nailed it though. It's like a jerk. He jerked my arm. <laughs> whatever it was. And the cool thing about this is, man, you don't know what you're, what you're gonna catch. Something knocked fire from it. I don't know what it was. Oh, good dog. Got him, guys. Oh, snap. Oh, crap, he got off. I don't know. It was big. Okay, it was big. Okay hey guys, I think we're gonna make our way up to the pier and then back down and just see if we can catch anything out here in the free water. I'm throwing that uh the Archie Crappy crankbait. I'll show it to you. My bad. 
I'm getting that hand of water so quick. I'm not even showing you guys what's going on. Guys, we got something. We got one. Oh! Large mouth, look at that. First fish of the day over here. Large mouth right here on the bank. That arky crappy crankbait, guys, look at that. Okay, that's that damn fish. The Archie Company just be going off, man. Okay, guys, hold on a second. Over this fish. Hey, he's hitting me. He got look good. Oh. Really? Okay, there we go. Got hooked all kind of way. I'm not gonna hook him again, hold on. Guys, these little hooks. This small. Hunt bait ain't playing. Yeah, they hook you. You don't watch. Look at that line. That's a nice large mouth. All right, let's get him back in the water. Thanks, man. Right there on the bank. First cast. I can crop the crank bait. Let me take this extra stuff off. Take my gear off. Get everything situated back to normal. I figured that there would be some kind of predators on the bank right here. And I was right. I've never fished down here, guys. This is my very first time walking these banks casting. I just kind of know where, you know, where fish be. And there's plant life and stuff, so I figured it would be something cutting out here. Something. <laughs> Oh man, really? Well, can't be good every time. Got to be good and bad. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, let's see if we can get it fixed. Got to be good and bad, guys. Everything evens up. I'm gonna set the hook over here with, on here with, set the hook with T.L. Burrell. You get hung, you get snagged, you catch fish, you lose fish. And just for the record, I had no idea what that was. I knew it was a fish. It was just right there. Maybe there's another one. All right. This is that, that damn fish you can fish the banks. Sometimes you just got to have a small enough lure. Sometimes you just got to have the right lure, blah, blah, blah. I think that bass was just sitting over here by, this, by these bushes. Maybe there's another one. I hope it is. Walk up here a little bit, guys. I'm not gonna walk away from my gear too far. Whoa! <clears throat> this river fishing is fun, man.
You never know what you're gonna catch. What's gonna bite, you know? Got him. Got him, guys. Oh, another large mouth. Look at that. Right there, baby, on the bank, another large mouth. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna take a picture of this one. I didn't take a picture of the last one. Yeah, I don't care if they're small or not, they're fish. This is a fishing show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> River bass. We get a shot of them, guys. Put them on Facebook and Instagram. These Archie Crappie crankbaits are rocking. Now, I put out a video, guys. I got a video that says uh, these baits rock in the river. And this is one of the baits that was rocking in the river, and it still is rocking. <laughs> Let's see how it's going. Okay, put him in the corner of his mouth. There it is. Look at that guys, a nice little large mouth. Let's get him back in the water. Nice large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Archie Crappie Crankbait rocks, baby. The Archie Company ain't playing. <laughs> they never have been playing. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me, guys. Remember to smash that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do is I want to give a shout-out to Daniel. Man, thanks for uh, letting me show that big blue you caught, man. That's a nice fish. I mean, it was just slamming. I appreciate you 100, man. Okay, guys, now you see what the Lock and Dam breeds. I, I wanted to show that fish so you can see what's up. And, yeah, uh, you know, but we catch fish like that a lot, man, down there. And it, any dam, any big dam like that, just got big gates, you know, or a, a really big dam, six, seven gates, five gates, uh, four gates, you know, something big. Uh, you're gonna catch some, some, some big fish, man. Uh, they breed the, the big blues, you know, uh, the big flatheads, guys. Uh, Big channels. Now the channels gonna be the baby fish out of all of the out of, out of um, excuse me both of those fish because we got you know the the blues they they they're shooting you know 60 to 100 pounds you know and the, the flatheads you know 60 to 100 pounds. Now I have never seen a channel uh, over 20 pounds, but uh, I've seen pictures, but it, I was not there. I have seen pictures where guys and women uh, have caught uh, you know, 25, 30 pound channels and that's what they say they are, but I wasn't there. I haven't seen one over 20 pounds. So. <clears throat> there it is, but they get big, you know, and then you got the, you got the big drums, man. Uh, I've seen a 25 pound uh, white drum, you know, um, you got the, the giant gars, man. I mean, you know, alligator gars and man, they're giant, I mean like six foot long and stuff like that you know I've seen them swimming in there man um, it's just all kinds of big stuff and of course you got big bass uh, you got big largemouth bass you got uh, you got big white bass um, yeah, and then uh, you got the, um, the big spotted bass you know it's just it's everything big bluegill big hands out of bluegill uh, white crappie black crappie you know everything dams have just got some really good fish up but um <clears throat> i wanted to uh show that uh, share that with you guys and show that on my show you know blah 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 now guys um the archie crappie crappie crankbaits i cannot talk today <laughs> the archie crappie crankbaits that i was using um this one is the uh that that black shed or that black shiner it's the black shiner uh this bait is really good uh all the archie uh baits rock um this is that that chrome chrome clown uh that i was using uh and and really the fish really wasn't biting that good uh that day you know 
Um, this is that Tennessee Shad. Yeah, these are uh, these are some good lures, and I, I have shown uh, I've shown this lure before. Uh, that was on um, these baits, uh, these hard baits, rock in the river. We'll put that right here. Uh, I was showing that, that these lures work, um, but the Archie Crappie Crank baits are just some good baits. I mean, the the Arky Company man, they they just be getting down. They dive two to six feet, and that's without putting any weights on them. Now I'm talking about in the river, okay, guys. We're talking about in the river. Now I fish with them uh, at Sullivan Lake, and I have caught uh, large mouths uh, out of Sullivan Lake uh, with these these Arky Crappie Crank baits with um with this lure and. Matter of fact, all three of these lures with this Tennessee Shad. Oh, uh, this ain't the Tennessee Shad. This with that black shiner. I'm sorry. Better watch me. I tell a lot. I apologize, guys. This is that Tennessee Shad. Uh, I've I've caught uh, fish in at, 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 uh, Solution Lake, and um, you know they they'll hit, man. The, those fish are bite. Uh, they're really good bass lure. Now I know they're called a crappie. Crankbait. I've never caught a crappie from either one of those lures. No color. I've got uh, I've got several other colors. I've never caught a crappie off one of those baits, but that's what they're called. And if you want to check them out, um, you can get them at Walmart, guys. Uh, they're they're like two dollars, man. I want to say <clears throat> they're like two two fifty eight for like this uh. For this uh, black shiner, and I wanna say for this Tennessee shad is like 258, but the other ones are like 236 at least in Mississippi. That's how they are in Alabama. Uh, in my area, right? That's not how they are. They don't cost that much. But they work really good. They're really effective, and they catch big fish. They don't just catch little small fish like the ones that I caught. Uh, this episode, you know, they catch big fish. I've caught some big bass on those lures too. Uh, especially if you check out that video, you'll see that I, I I caught a lot of fish, and some of them were big. You know, blah blah blah. That's just how it goes. You know, but you know, when you go to the dams, guys, you don't just have to catch fish. Uh, and, I, and I mean, everybody wants to catch a giant fish. That's just part of it, you know. And, and that's what makes it fun. It's it's like an adventure. But you can um you can go to where the walls are. And, uh, and you know cast out toward the wall you can throw out in the current like I was doing I was actually testing out something I'm testing to see what I can catch out there in that in that current by the wall now the, when I was casting toward the wall down there I'm throwing it out letting it float around the wall and I'm bringing it back you know it's coming back and then uh, I was I was catching fish now I fished in Florence Alabama um, over at the dam over there up against the wall and that's you know where I learned I could catch bass uh, I've been doing that for a minute but I had never fished in Aberdeen at all using uh, lures so you know uh, it was a learning experience and I, and I did guys I, I threw a lot more lures than that <laughs> I just didn't show it I threw a lot of different lures and they just weren't hitting them but when I threw those Archie Crappie crankbaits and bam there it was so you know uh, give it a try guys if you go to the, to a dam <clears throat> you know get your bass gear out and throw toward throw toward the walls man if you can, if you can get to them you know and and, and bass fish and you, you can catch you can catch fish they're in there um, but uh, but everybody man keep on going fishing have fun be safe peace out thanks for watching